Hey everybody, I'm Shane Mason and this is Mason Boys Outdoors. And today I'm out here with Mr. Paul. Today I'm out here with Mr. Paul on the Pascagoula River and we're looking for some redfish or speckled trout or whatever we can catch. So y'all come with us on the river. Let's see if we can't catch a few. Legend himself got another one. What you got, Mr. Paul? Oh, it looks like you got a nice one. Pulling the drag. Oh! Broke the line. Broke the line. Oh, shoot. There's no way of getting your lower back. I was worried about that. That's all right. That ain't nothing to be worried about. They sell them every day. All right, we got it. We got one on now. I've missed one. Mr. Paul had his line broke. And now I got one on again. We're gonna let him wear down a little bit. Oh, he's a fighter. Stay out of the trolling motor, boy. Oh my goodness. Come on up. Come on up. You ready to come in the boat, huh? Nice. All right. That's a red fish? That's a red fish, red drum. And it uh, has to be what? 18 inches. Is that close? Yeah, this one's this one's gonna be close. You're sitting on the um, the measuring tape. I have a gold spoon you can try. So that's one down, five to go. I just had a big blow up on this Spook Junior. Really? Yeah. I was wa I was walking the dog and I was popping it. Uh -huh. real hard i wasn't trying to finesse it and he he hit it and he pulled on it a little bit but he the hooks didn't set in him see if i can't get another one out this way Nice my, my speckled trout hit it right out right it hit it right at the boat as I was picking it up out of the water. This one's 17 inches he hit it as I was picking it up out of the water. Now you gotta get you some of them, Mr. Paul. He ain't off. <laughs> He's just a croaker. Can you believe that he'd go after that big bait? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Paul caught a croaker on a crankbait. That's the first. <laughs> Me and Mr. Paul have thrown just about everything we have in the boat at these fish today. And hadn't, we, well, we caught one good trout and had a lot of hits, but nothing would commit to the bait. So, I don't know what the deal is. Me and Mr. Paul have come over here to Ingalls trying to stay out of the wind. I have my rip shad on and I'm casting it up in the current and reeling it real fast back. Hopefully we'll find something. Hopefully if a Spanish mackerel hits it, he doesn't cut us off. Hopefully we'll get one or two in the boat before they do cut us off. I bet we're in that guy's spot. He's in a mighty little boat for this wind. Back 
at the house and me and Mr. Paul has had a hard time today trying to get fish to commit. We've had tons of hookups, tons of uh, uh, strikes rather, and just trying to get them on the hook and in the boat where it was another story. I probably had 10 hits on the Zara Spook and none of them hooked up. I mean, it's like they just hit it and take it under and, and let it go uh, just that quick. Just, just could not get a fish hooked. And we got that one good speckled trout that hit right at the boat but it didn't even give us time to cut the camera on. This evening, me and Josh Harmon, he has a YouTube channel, Fish in the South. We're going frog gigging up the Pascagoula River, and it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be fun. I hope we find some frogs. Uh, either way, we're gonna have a ball. So y'all be watching for that. That'll be coming out this week. And y'all go check out his YouTube channel, Fish in the South. I'm about to knock the sides off of this 17 inch trout and go inside and make some sandwiches with it. But thank you guys for watching. Always remember, catch a mess and leave the rest. God bless you, and we'll see you on the next video.